we're going to do a wonderful a wonderful thing for our spines. So we're going to have a look at dog. We're going to look at how we can progress from using the chair standing, moving into doing dog on the ground. If it's not for you, that doesn't matter. You can take the modifications. So let's begin in our familiar dog using the chair. So the aim of downward dog is it's about lengthening the spine. It's about getting that beautiful extension from the neck all the way down to the base of the spine. So quite often what you see is rounded backs because people are trying to straighten the legs. And actually that's not what we want. We'd rather have bent knees and lengthen through the spine. So taking my hands to the back of the chair, I'm just gonna walk myself back. It does require for you to have um, good shoulder mobility as well. So you can see I'm trying to get my spine really long and then just moving the hips from side to side, which feels fab. Looks so simple, you can do it anywhere, wait for the kettle to boil, hands on the kitchen counter, brilliant. And you can keep the knees bent to get that extension. You can start to play a little bit with the hamstrings. If you are really tight through the shoulders and you find it really hard to release there, then you can use a wall. If I do it that way, you won't see. Um, and just stay higher up. So don't put too much pressure through the shoulders, but just really focus on trying to extend through the back. So you can either stay here, or if you want to have a go at coming down onto the ground, we're going to do the same thing, but with the hands down. So it might be that you don't um, like the pressure through the wrists. You can cushion it with a blanket, so that feels better. So you want your wrists underneath your shoulders, fingers nice and wide, and the knees underneath the hips. I'm going to curl the toes and just lift the knees off the ground and start to push my chest towards my legs. Again, just feeling that length. So I'm doing the same thing as I was standing up. If this isn't for you, stay standing. And then I'm wiggling my tail, wiggling my tail, wiggling my bottom, wagging my tail, like we're doing standing up. And it's just about moving, bending and straightening through the hamstrings here, giving them a nice little stretch. Just enjoy that. And then if, if this is something that feels quite nice for you, the benefits of an inversion really help circulation, circulation of the lymphatic system as well, which is all part of the immune system. Also that fresh blood to the brain. Excellent to stay looking young forever. <laughs> and then you can start to lower the heels. If that's right for you, you may stay with the knees very bent and just work through the spine and that might just feel amazing. When you've had enough, just come down, have a little break. You can roll the wrists. Oh, and then you might want to have another go. So really strengthening through the upper body. You just stretch up and then come down again. So practice going from cat have a nice extension, nice and rounding through the back as you inhale and lift the head. Curl the toes and then take the hips up. So you can work between cat and dog. Stay there as long as it feels nice and then lower back down onto the knees. Obviously you can use a blanket to pad the knees if that feels better for you. And it might be that it's a very quick stretch into dog and come back down. But your spine is having the best time ever. It's loving it. So make it your own. Do what feels right. I'm gonna stretch into the sides a little bit, moving my ribs one way and then the other way. And then maybe another little lift into dog little pedal through the feet and again if you don't like this downward dog on the ground then you can stay you doing it on the chair for as long as you want and then just come down and have a little play with cat it's quite nice if you can do a bit down on the ground just to get a little bit of a flow going and moving down lovely Sitting back, rotating 
through the wrists. I'm just going to interlace fingers behind the back and draw the hands down, opening through the chest. Oh, feels good. Inhale, take the hands up. Exhale, just taking a little twist. Another way the spine loves to move, so we've flexed and extended, but it also likes to twist. And we've done some side to side movements when we've been in our cat. And then you might just want to release it. Just make it a bit fluid, move from side to side. Obviously you can do this standing. Lovely. And then coming down onto your back. And let's just release the lower back now. So I'm just going to let the knees drop from side to side. Nice little rotation through the hip joint as well. Nice massage through the lower back as the knees drop one way and over to the other side. So you don't need to make this a big movement. It might be really subtle up here and it still feels lovely. And then if you can, I'm going to draw one knee into the chest, straightening the other leg. Maybe it feels better for you to have that knee slightly bent. Just depends how tight you are through the pelvis and through that psoas muscle that runs down here. Want to rotate the ankles a bit. Draw that knee back in. Give yourself a little hug. Maybe a rock from side to side. And then release the other leg and let that straighten as much as it will. Just feel the lower back release, those hip flexors, stretch and release, lovely, lovely stretches. Okay, so while we're here, I'm going to open my arms out to the side and just, I'm going to hook my toes behind my other knee and just let the knee start to drop to the side. Now you can just let it go a tiny way, have a little bit of a stretch here, a little bit of a twist. If you want to take it further, you'll have to make a bit of an effort to drop it over to the side. And you can turn the head the other way. Just breathing, enjoying that movement. Ah. And then bring that back to centre. Place the foot on the ground and swap legs. So lengthen the other leg. Hook those toes behind the knee. You may just want to drop ever so slightly. Or you may want to just push yourself over and then look over to the other side. You might get some satisfying little clicks through the spine, releasing pockets of air. with a wonderful stretch through bridge. So placing the feet hip width apart, knees pointing up to the ceiling and let's take the hands down by the side of the body and just begin to press the lower back into the ground and then release it. Do that again, drawing the belly button towards the spine and release. And then this time see if you can begin to press the feet into the ground and slowly lift the hips lower down. And each time you lift, see if you can take it a little bit further up. If you want to include the breath, as we lift the hips, we begin to inhale and exhale as we lower down. So trying to move the spine one vertebra at a time. Don't worry if you go in clunks, it's why we're doing this, try and loosen everything off. You feel the glutes engaging, the abdomen engaging, the quads. And see if you can start to lift to your highest point. Pressing the feet into the ground. 
And when you've reached there, you may want to try interlacing the fingers underneath the back. And you can maybe draw the shoulder blades slightly in towards each other. And just be aware of your neck and make sure the neck is long. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. You may start to feel this building up. This is all good. And see if you can just press slightly more into the ground and lift those hips a little bit higher. Wonderful stretch through the hips. Strengthening so much, stretching so much. Feels amazing. Don't panic, just breathe. And then release the fingers. Just allow the shoulder blades to walk back out. And then slowly, slowly lower back down. Ah, draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Or you may prefer to just let the knees drop one way and the other way. Just releasing everything off. And if it feels okay for you, you might want to walk the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop out to the side. Alternatively, you can just walk the feet further apart and let the knees drop together. Just take a couple of breaths. Just releasing, letting go as you exhale. Feel the abdomen rise as you inhale. Letting go as you exhale. Just bring the hands together, draw them up to the third eye, forehead, point between the eyebrows. Namaste.